Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very specific type of aircraft design. It is called the flying wing configuration. The flying wing is a type of aircraft design which uses no vertical or horizontal stabilizer. Before we actually go deeper and discuss this topic, it would be better if we learn a few terminologies along the way. There are three major axes used to control an aircraft. The first one is called as the pitch axis when the aircraft wants to gain altitude during powered flight, the nose of the aircraft is tilted. This is called the pitch up. Similarly, moving the nose of the aircraft down is called pitch down. This is used to decrease the altitude of the aircraft. This is controlled by the horizontal stabilizer. The second control axis is the roll axis. It lies through the center of gravity of the aircraft. It is directed in the forward direction parallel to the fuselage. Motion or movement of the aeroplane about this axis is called the roll. This movement is controlled by the aileron on the wing. The last axis is called yaw. This axis lies along the center of gravity of the aircraft. It is perpendicular to both the fuselage and the wings. The motion of the aircraft about this axis is called a yaw moment. And the motion about the axis is controlled by the rudder or vertical stabilizer of the aircraft. The main motive behind designing an aircraft of this configuration was to reduce the drag as much as possible. This leads to an increase in speed, operational range, payload capacity, and also the efficiency of the aircraft. This is done by eliminating all drag producing parts of the aircraft like the engine cowling, horizontal stabilizers, vertical stabilizers, and even the entire fuselage. By removing all of these components, we arrive at a shape similar to this. The first jet-powered flying wing was developed in Germany by the Horton brothers. It was called the Horton. 229. Many flying wing aircrafts were developed before the Orton 229 like the Big 3 and the Big 7. But they were not true flying wings as they had a vertical stabilizer to aid in the yaw action of the aircraft. The biggest problem in the flying wing configuration was the control of the airplane. The pitch and the roll of the aircrafts were solved by using ailerons on the wings. However, solving the yaw action of the aircraft was very difficult. It was controlled by using a specific type of control surface called as the split ailerons. The working of the split aileron is similar to the air brakes present in most modern aircrafts today. When the aircraft is needed to yaw towards the right side, the split aileron on this side of the wing is deployed. This causes an increase in the drag on the right side, which causes the aircraft to slowly yaw in the required direction. Many prototype military aircrafts of the flying wing configurations were built. The most prominent of them are the YB-49 and the B-2. The YB-49 was developed by the Northrop Corporation. It first flew in June of 1946. It was capable of carrying 40 tons of payload. The US Air Force ordered 13 pre-production variants of the aircraft, but the production of the aircrafts were cancelled after the lead test pilot died during the crash of the aircraft. The YB-49 was ahead of its time in design. Due to its configuration, it was extremely difficult to control it without the aid of computers. The second prominent aircraft with this design aspect is the B-2 Stealth Bomber. The B-2 was also developed by the Northrop Corporation after it won a contract from the government to design a high-altitude stealth bomber which would be virtually invisible to the enemy's radar. Keeping these requirements in mind, the engineers at Northrop designed an aircraft with the flying wing configuration as it had the least amount of radar cross-section. The B-2 used a much more modern fly-by-wire system which helped in better control of the aircraft. That's it guys. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the section below. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.